together, joining our brothers and sisters who have asked for thus much for their various intentions to praise the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Dearly beloved, today is Thursday. 28th of May 2020 and we gather around the mercy throne of God to praise God for everything he has done for us. Today we are here to give honor, praise and adoration to our God and continue to pray for the world that the Lord will grant this world eternal healing from this COVID-19. But to prepare ourselves worthy to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for strength. I confess to Almighty God and to, to you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my ways in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, let your spirit come upon us with power to fill us with his gifts. May he make our hearts pleasing to you and ready 
to do your will. We ask all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, desiring to know the real reason why the Jewish accused Paul, the tribune unbound him and commanded the chief priests and all the council to meet. And he brought Paul down and set him before them. But when Paul perceived that one part were Sudacis and the other Pharisees, he cried out in the council, Brethren, I am a Pharisee, a son of Pharisees. With respect to the hope and the resurrection of the dead, I am on trial. And when he had said this, a dissension arose between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the assembly was divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, nor angel, nor spirit, but the Pharisees acknowledge them all. Then a great clamor arose, and some of the scribes of the Pharisees Parties stood up and contended. We find nothing wrong in this man. What if a spirit or an angel spoke to him? And when the dissension became violent, the tribune, afraid that Paul would be torn in pieces by them, commanded the soldiers to go down and take him by force from among them and bring him into the barracks. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for as you have testified about me at Jerusalem, so you must bear witness as a room, also at room, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, Preserve me, O Lord, for for in you I take refuge. Preserve, Preserve me, O Lord, Lord, for in you I, I take refuge. refuge. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. You yourself who secure me, who secure my Lord. Preserve me, O God. For in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O Lord, for in you I take refuge. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O oh God, God, for, for in you, you I, I take, take refuge. refuge. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad, even my flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Preserve me, O oh God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O oh God. For, For in you, you I, I take, take refuge. refuge. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, bliss forever. Preserve me, O oh God. For in you, I take refuge. Preserve me, O oh God. For in you, I take refuge. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. May they all be one, even as you, Father, 
are in me and I in you, so that the world may believe that you have sent me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hale, 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 do for those who believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, even as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they may also be one in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them, even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also, whom you have given me, May be with me where I am, to behold my glory, which you have given me in your love for me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And this know that you have sent me, and made known to them your name, and I'll make it known. That the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. Beloved, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, we continue to read the priestly prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ for his disciples, for his followers, for those who trust in him. And this prayer is centered on unity. That the world will be one. That his followers will be united, that you and I will have a peace of mind to serve him. This unity would definitely bring out the unity between Jesus and his father. As he says, I and my father are one. Beloved, this unity must be preached. This unity must be worked for. This unity must be proclaimed. By our deeds and actions, by our words and inactions, we foster this unity or destroy it. Like Paul, we need to stand for the truth. 
like Paul, we need to stand firm when we know that what we are doing is the right. Paul told the elders in Ephesus that the Spirit of God has revealed to him that death awaits him. When he came to Jerusalem, he sent before the Sahindrin, the tribunal, he is accused of preaching in the name of God. But when Paul looked at the tribunal and saw that there were two groups, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, he made use of the opportunity to defend himself. The Pharisees believe in God they believe in angels, they believe in spirits, and they believe in the resurrection. The Sadducees, however, do not believe in these things. So when Paul said that he is a Pharisee and he believes in the resurrection of Jesus, that threw the tribunal into confusion. And that really made a way for him to be set free, at least for that day. Beloved, one thing I want you to understand as a Christian is to stand for the truth, to speak the truth at all times, to make use of the opportunity given us to proclaim the message of Christ to all. Paul made use of the opportunity to preach about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You and I, on several occasions that we have been presented with the opportunity to preach about Christ to the world, how ready are we to preach? The unity among the Christendom can only come about if we preach the true message about the resurrection. We are called upon as Christians never to fade in our faith, rather to be stronger and stand firm even in our difficult situations. As we continue to battle this COVID-19 in our world, let us remember that we are also called upon to preach about the resurrection of Christ. The spirit of truth that will come upon us sooner than later is to help us so that this mission will be accomplished. Let us remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. You did not choose me. I chose you. I chose you to bear fruit. Fruit that will last. Let us remember that this unity is a scandal to the world and a testimony against Christian vocation. Let us set aside our individual preferences. Let us set aside our individual talents and rather work hard to achieve the unity prayed for in this gospel. May the Lord who has called us bring to perfection whatever he has started. And may the spirit of truth help us to be firm and speak the truth at all times. May he bless and keep us. Amen. Amen. Friends, have not listened to the word of God. It's now time to put our petitions before him. 
Let us go to him in sincerity of heart as we pray. Let our response be in your mercy hear us, O Lord. 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 We pray for the Holy Church. We pray for her leaders that as Paul stood firm and preached about the resurrection of Jesus in these difficult moments that we find ourselves, we pray that the church will stand firm and preach about the power of Jesus Christ to the world. We pray to the Lord. In your, your mercy, mercy, hear, hear us, us, O Lord. Lord. We pray for the world. We pray for the sick. We pray for all those who are battling their lives because of this COVID-19. That the Lord of unity that the Lord who takes care of the sick will grant them eternal healing that the world will have peace of mind to worship the Lord in sincerity of heart we pray to the Lord in your mercy hear us O Lord we pray for ourselves we pray for our family members we pray for all those who trust in our prayers that the Lord will continue to be with them. The Lord will grant them their heart desire so that they will have peace even in this difficult moment and their faith will not be lost. We pray to the Lord. In your mercy, hear us, O Lord. We pray for our health workers. All those who are at the forefront of finding cure to this dreadful disease, that the Lord will bless their efforts so that their effort will not be in vain. We pray to the Lord. In your mercy, hear us, O Lord. Brethren, we are before God, a merciful Father, who gave us his son so that our life will be changed for better. Wherever you are in faith, let us put our private intentions before God. We have a mother who is always ready to intercede for us. Let us call on her as we pray. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. We ask all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We come to you, Lord Jesus. We kneel before your shrine to fill your blessed presence and taste your love divine. We come to confessing the sins that cause you pain. Forgive them all, Lord Jesus, and was as clean again.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God. The Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Merciful God, make holy these gifts and let our spiritual sacrifice make us an everlasting gift to you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, all powerful and ever living God. We do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. In his risen body. He plainly showed himself to his disciples and was taken up to heaven in the outside to claim for us a share in his divine life. And so with all the cast of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in your or any hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. And, and profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your chest spread throughout the world and bring that to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph has passed most days with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to recall her to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. I say forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your world, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Who take away the sins of the world. Have Amen. mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God who take away, away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God who take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him Jesus, who take away the sins of the world. Bless that those go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not God worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the brother sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself only to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Jesus, my Lord, my God, my own, how kind I love you as I ought, and how this wondrous gift, so far surpassing hope. Again, COVID 19. Lord Jesus, during your ministry on earth, you showed your power and caring by healing people of all ages and stations of life from physical, mental, and spiritual ailments. Be present now to people who need your love and touch because of COVID 19. May they feel your power of feeling through the care of doctors and nurses. Take away the fear, anxiety, and feelings of isolation from people receiving treatment or under quarantine and protecting 
Give them a sense of purpose in pursuing health and protecting others from exposure to the disease. Protect their families and friends and bring peace to all who love them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, renew us by the mysteries you have shared. Help us to know you and prepare us for the gifts of the Spirit. Grant it through Christ our Lord. Amen. So thank you all for being part of this evening's celebration. We thank God for the rain that is before fallen on us this evening. And we also pray that with this rain, May the Lord take away COVID-19 from the world. Wherever you are, have a peaceful night. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and keep you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, for Oh, yeah.